record it. We'll just do one take. Hello. So if you're like me and you own an electric skateboard, this here is the Evolve Stoke. I've previously owned a booster board. Then you might have come across the dilemma of how to carry the bag at some point. So what I've done, and I'm going to be honest, I've stolen this idea from Press Reset, so go and check him out. Um, I've created, created, I've got a very cheap way uh, to carry your skateboard or your longboard or your electric skateboard around with you um, using these cable ties and a laptop bag. So let's get to it. Hi everybody, I'm currently editing this video and just wanted to give you a little heads up. So the title says an Aldi electric skateboard bag. So the actual bag itself was purchased from Aldi. You know, they have the, you know, aisles of, of special things, you know, sometimes it's a, a bag, sometimes it's pull up bars, sometimes it's electrical goods. Well, that bag was from Audi um, and it costs roughly about 20 pounds. Uh, so basically your bag will need one of these little holdy things at the top and a, uh, a shoulder, it'll be a shoulder carry bag, obviously. So all I've done initially is uh, I've cut one of these um, laptop bags in half. It doesn't have to be a laptop bag. It can be just like a towel or an old t-shirt. It's just something to stop it rubbing against your back. So all I'm doing is, uh, oops, all I'm doing is hooking that on there and then hooking this on here. I'm gonna get under the trucks and then I'm gonna go over the trucks. Now that is optional, you don't have to do that, um, but it just means that you won't get the old sandpaper on your back. Next thing I do oh, is lay the board down, dent. Actually, I normally do this the other way around. Come a bit closer. Don't zoom in, just in. don't zoom in, come a bit closer. I am close. So with this bit, you get one of these little pulley tie things. You can buy them for like 2 99 for a pack of, no, I got this for 7 99 for a pack of nine. nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you go over, under, and back over again, and then through just there, and then I go through again. And then your bag is just hanging off there like that. And you're thinking, wow, that's a bit rubbish. Well, you get two of these and you attach them to the bottom of the bag. And when I say you've got to attach them to the bottom of the bag, this is what I mean. So you've got the strap of the bag here. I've already got one attached here. I attached two normally. Um, you literally put this on like so and then it just goes through there so that should be pretty should be able to see that um, and then you just tighten it up from there at the bottom and then that's how I get them on it's pretty simple I got two just for safety reasons and then you just pop that over the wheel like so and then you do the same with the other side And there you have it. One bag. Actually, I'm just gonna loosen the straps a little bit. Make sure you loosen the straps. One longboard bag. Normally what I do is I just check that the, uh, they're over the wheels, that's over that wheel, that's over that wheel and then strap myself in and then there you have it simple effective carry bag for your board um, and I can still use the actual bag itself and it's, it's comfortable it is comfortable one last thing then let's time me for how long it takes to get the board off ready to ride go
ready to ride. So the total of this, it depends which bag you've got hanging about, but just to choose a bag, choose a bag that you like, um, that you might have already. Stick those little things on here, stick one at the top, and you're ready to go. As I say, press reset was the original idea for this, and you know, it's not as good a quality as a normal skate bag, but it does the same job for less money. So if you like this video, hit the like button. And uh, I'm not sure if I'd bother subscribing because it's the first video I've made in two years. Thanks for watching.